Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So, my time comparison is finally complete. And has this been the longest challenge I've ever done? Oh gosh, um, I've been looking back at uh, when I bought these and uh, yeah, it's taken me a long time to get this challenge done. So anyway, I hope you uh, like what I've done and uh, I hope you find it interesting, the results that I've come across. So what I wanted to do, um, we've had a few sort of square versus round challenges just to see the difference um, in a picture, the same picture done using rounds and squares. But I thought because the squares are just that little bit smaller than the round drills and you do get more of your squares, I wondered how long extra it would take to do a square drill compared to a round drill. So I've been doing these bit by bit and I've been timing myself to see how long it took. And then I thought, well, I'll throw the special into the mix as well. Um, and these are all a hedgehog and I am going to be donating these to a, a lady who does hedgehog rescue. Uh, one of my subscribers does hedgehog rescue. So I've been in touch with her and uh, yeah, I'm going to send her these pictures so she can frame them or do whatever she likes with them uh, to get some money to, for looking after little hedgehogs, which is lovely because I don't like a hedgehog. Okay, so first of all then, um, I actually bought these two paintings, the square one and the round one from the Zuya factory store and I ordered them on the 31st of January 2021. So I've had them well over a year. I think I started filming the comparison in October 2021 I think that's round about when I did the kitting up and started uh, doing the comparison and then I have just decided to make myself get these finished I've had them hanging around in my craft room far too long and I want the storage boxes that they're in as well <laughs> so I've got them finished over the last couple of days and in total the square canvas which is as I say identical they're 30 by 30 and they're both uh, double-sided tape. The orange edges there, just washi tape that I've put on because they were very sticky around the edges. Um, so I've just covered it over so I wasn't picking it up every time I ran on sticking to it. So the square one took me 18 hours and 27 minutes to complete. And the round one took me 16 hours and 49 minutes to complete. So we're roughly about a two hour difference. So this one's taken me roughly two hours more than this one. I do single place everything. Let's just get that back in screen a little bit. I do single place on every single drill. So there's no multi-place placing going on, even though there are quite large patches of the uh, white in the background on this one. This one has got a few different colors, not quite as much. There are quite a few popping drills on this one as well and um, there were quite a few different shapes. I keep seeing them, you know, as you look at them and I keep seeing them <laughs> just suddenly as you look at them from a sort of top side view, you can just see a couple of little raised ones or if you feel across it, you just feel it's not quite as smooth. But yeah, so that was not as big a difference as I was expecting. Um, but when I've looked at the pictures, I think the difference on the pictures is enormous, um, really. Uh, there was only, I think, was the two more colours on this one to this one. I can't remember off the top of my head. I know I've got them there. I could count them. Um, I'll put it on the screen. I think this one was about 32-ish colours and I think this one was maybe 30 or 29. I think this one fitted in my 30 container and I had to use a bigger container for this one. So I know there were slightly more colours. But uh, yeah, and then the actual, as I said, I thought I'd just throw the special drill into the mix as well. Um, obviously, this is smaller, a lot less drills. This is actually only a 24 centimetre by 24 centimetre, 12 different gems. But this one took me two hours and 16 minutes. So, you know, still like a good chunk of an evening um, or a couple of evenings, depending on how long your diamond paint for. But I think this shows up what the picture should look like. Um, if you can see there, we have two butterflies 
on the special and the special shows you up all the detail all the flower um, the eyes and everything the different picture so I'm quite pleased I did that because when I've now stood back and looked at the rounds I don't know if you can see there but the square we definitely have this butterfly here that has shown up this butterfly hasn't really shown up you wouldn't know that that was a butterfly at all really you sort of get a general idea that it might be um, I may go back in and just put some extra drills on just to sort of edge that so you can see it is a butterfly but on this side again you can't really tell on the rounds what that is you can't really tell that that's that butterfly definitely shows up a lot better there and on this side <laughs> It's like the invisible man. It's just like a few blobs in the background. You know, there is definite nothing there at all. So I think on a square versus round basis, which as I said, I wasn't particularly doing it for that. I was just interested in how long it would take me to do the square, how much longer it would take me to do a square with it having more beads on. Um, but yeah, I think the detail is completely, well, just amazing um you know these little flowers up here and these little flowers here you can actually see like the separate roses there and you can see it on here uh whereas on here they're just more blobby this one again it's giving you more colors and it is quite amazing to see the difference um i think when i first started this and i did do like a halfway comparison i did say that like the shadow in the background you know you weren't really getting much of a shadow whereas on this one you got more of a shadow and I think as you work up and look as you go across you can really see the difference the actual detail that you get so would I still buy 30 by 30 round paintings yes would I prefer to do them in squares then yeah I probably will stay on squares more now even with the popping get back down you little devils i can see them popping up as i'm going on i'm definitely going to have to seal that one um before i send it off to the hedgehog lady but yeah i mean look you've lost like the side of the face of the hedgehog here because it's white you know this side is a definite you know the stripes and everything on the hedgehog because it's white you've lost it a little bit here but because they've done the background creamish it does still look like part of the hedgehog but this one looks like you know when you're doing a zoom meeting um and somebody's put a fake background in, <laughs> and somebody sort of like just pops the head in and you get like a ghostly sort of arm or a leg or a head or something that just appears um and there's bits of it missing that looks like that on there to me if I'd just done that painting as it was, I probably wouldn't have even thought about what's that up there. I wouldn't have even thought, oh, there's a la uh, ladybird. There's a butterfly up there. Um, and I might have been a little bit disappointed that that one didn't show up quite so well. But it's still a very pretty picture. And hung on a wall from a distance, you can still tell it's a hedgehog. You can still tell it's flowers. You can still tell it's very, very pretty. This one, there's so much detail, even just on that dark patch of flower there, you know, a little bit okay i'm back sorry about that there <laughs> hope you just decided to take first time me from hospital uh. <laughs> she's oh what are you doing I said, well i was filming <laughs> no it's lovely to hear from him i'm pleased uh, he's, he's picking up he's doing okay um he was sat having a cooked bacon and egg breakfast this morning so i know he's on the mend anyway back to the hedgehogs so i've no idea where i'd got up to or what i was saying <laughs> But uh, yeah, I mean, you can definitely tell the difference. As I say, that is the picture, that is the drilling area. Um, that is what should show up. Obviously, if you go bigger, then I think this shows that you need to go an awful lot bigger on a round than you do a square. So if you're wanting to do, say, um, portraits of people, then I would suggest that if you're wanting a round one, go as big as you possibly can because otherwise you're just not going to get that detail whereas on a square you can afford to go a little bit smaller just my opinion do you prefer to do your squares versus your rounds uh, certainly most of the customs I've done have all been squares because I do know you do get the better detail 
on a smaller picture, then yeah, you can go that little bit uh, smaller. As I say, 30 by 30, really, this is too small to get the detail. As I say, it's such a shame about that butterfly. Um, because I've been diamond painting a while now and I, I'm feeling a little bit more confident, um, then I probably will go in and do something with this butterfly. When I first started diamond painting, as I said, I probably wouldn't have even noticed that and I wouldn't have gone back in. I would have been too afraid to touch it. So it's like anything else. It comes with practice and usage and you start getting ideas and start doing bits and pieces as well. But yeah, um, I think it's been quite fun doing this. Uh, I've certainly yeah, enjoyed seeing the results. It's certainly different to what I expected. As I said, I thought the square would take me an awful lot longer than the round, but sort of a roughly two hours time difference. It's just one evening really, isn't it? The square's taking you one evening more than that one. This is just my speed. I mean, you may be faster or slower, um, you may multi-place or whatever, but it just gives you a rough idea of the difference. And I thought it was just something a bit different to do, something to try. Um, I do like to try things myself and so I do love my specials, that's so pretty. It's a shame that it hasn't really got a background. I might even, well, I know I'm sending this one off. I have actually got another one. This is the second one. <laughs> I've done. Oh, I didn't tell you where that one came from. So that one came from um, the Hiba Hubeng store on AliExpress. And that one cost me $5.05. And, and these two paintings cost me $13.82. Uh, so what just under seven dollars each so yeah bit of a price difference but obviously there's even though this is special gems there's an awful lot more on these because these are quite a bit bigger as well okay well i think i've told you everything i need to tell you on this um it's as i say been interesting i'm pleased i've done it i'm pleased that um i had a go and i'm even more pleased now that i've got somewhere to donate these two so that they will uh, raise some money for these cute little animals little hedgehogs they are really really sweet and um, we do get them coming round, and uh, they do make quite sort of like snuffly woof woof noises as well let me just put that one on top there so you can see all three little faces looking at you look <laughs> the eyes are a lot darker on this one these are more of a brown color these are more of your dark black color they have got three tens in these but uh, I do think I may put some just highlights in those eyes just to make them pop that little bit like these haven't got any drills on these eyes so I may just add into those as well just as I'm thinking as I go through these but yeah I mean certainly you know looking at this one on its own there is nothing wrong with it and um, if you gave that to somebody as a present they would love it I certainly would this one as I say is to be honest to me that looks more like cross stitch uh, unless you look really closely because it's so sort of like squared and it is looks like pixels it looks like cross stitching um quite a few people have said to me oh have you embroidered that when they've looked at my pictures on the wall um so yeah i i do like that one but i still like my special drills as well which one do you like? Let me know in the comments which one of the three you like the best. And are you surprised at how long each one took and that the square didn't really take that much longer than the round? OK, well, if you've got any questions or comments, if you can leave them in the comment section down below. Um, and if you've enjoyed seeing this and you've got any suggestions for other comparisons or whatever you'd like to see me do, then if you can again leave them in the comments down below i am still doing my um homemade poured glue canvas on one side and my double-sided tape canvas on the other side that is still ongoing uh, i'm about halfway through on that one now so that won't be too long before that's done i can do the review on that um i've also got to start my starting from scratch and doing a canvas just literally using the toolkit that comes with the kit to see if we can get that done um, I have had a comment somebody said they wouldn't send you the kit if you couldn't do the picture with what they're sending you so we're going to check that out and have a look hopefully you can um, I can't remember that far back to when I first started as to whether I did or not <laughs> 
Okay, well, I hope you've enjoyed seeing this video. Uh, I hope you found it interesting. If you have, a thumbs up is always really appreciated. Just gives me a little boost with YouTube as well. Uh, and just lets me know that uh, you've liked what I've done. And if you want to come back and see more comparisons and unboxings and see what I get up to next, then if you press that subscribe button and the little all notifications bell next to it, you'll be notified when my next videos come out. So thanks ever so much for stopping by and I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.